before I start today's video, I need to show you something. I have been in the corner holding my blankie and sucking my thumb from the moment I opened this package up this morning. I cannot tell you how beautiful these new primary element colors are. They are not like any I have seen before, except for in the resin line as far as sparkle goes. The resin art specific pigments that Color Art makes for resin art which are also called resin art, spelled R-E-Z-I-N-A-R-T-E, -E, are absolutely beautiful. Somehow, Leslie has made those resin colors into primary elements for acrylic pouring, and I cannot tell you the things that I am seeing in this cup, the sparkle the size of the flake and how much bigger it is than a normal primary element color. Now, here's one. This color is called Marigold. Look at the sparkle. This is going to be acrylic paint when you're done mixing it the right way. I, I'm not doing a video on these today. That's going to be tomorrow's video. I wanted to show you these now, though, because there is a pre-order special going on. And if you order, uh, pre-order these colors right now, you will get a bonus color for free. And I'll show you which one that is. Um, plus, you have my coupon that saves you 20% off. You know what? Let me shut up and show you these colors. Because like I said, I am just... I'm speechless. I really am. I didn't think they can get any better. And she has done that. So this is that marigold color. The sparkle is just phenomenal. So there's 12 colors in the kit. This is a Venetian red I'm going to hopefully get my flash to pick up on that sparkle. Blissful Bordeaux. This is one of the colors that had me crying in the corner because I'm just... I absolutely love, 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 love it. Now, I have quite a few videos showing you how to use these products the right way. Um, if you mix these products with the wrong types of ingredients, they will not look as bright and as shiny. So it's very important that you use either the recommended products that are sold for these colors, which would be either Polypore or Vivid Enamel, or you stick to my recipe that I am going to link that video in the description. I'm going to link two videos. One is going to be showing you how to use it with house paints. And that will be the first one I link. The second video will be using it with things like Floetrol. What you would have to do to be able to use these with Floetrol, okay? So this last one I just showed you was Bells of Ireland. This Palazzo, I mean, come on. Next up, we have Bellagio Blue. Get nice and close so you can see that sparkle in there. It looks like there's glitter in them. It really does. And it it's not. It's the mica flakes that are refracting off of the lights. This here is malachite. I 
Then Laguna Azul. This looks like it has more of a blue green base to it. Then we have Apple Rose. Now this color right here huh, is another one. Look at that. It looks like there's purple glitter in there. It is just amazing the way the mica flakes react with light. Then this would be the bonus color. It's called Greek Isle. So that one you're getting for free. Crushed Velvet. This is another one. Look at the sparkle. And then last but not least, Buttered Toffee. Look at that sexiness. So I'm just going to show you the, the size of these flakes really quick. So here is a, a normal mica powder pigment. A different brand. Here is the color art. That's Palazzo. So I want you to think of it this way. This is is mica powder. This is ground up pigment with mica powder added to it. Okay. So there's a big difference between these two products. This product is nothing like this product. Totally different products. Okay. So, or I guess it's called milled. There's milled. They mill the pigment in. But anyway, I'm telling you, if you ever wanted to try primary elements, now is the time. Go to colorart.com. Click on the pre-order button for the putting, or I got to do the wording right, putting on the glitz. That is the name of this kit. And again, you get that bonus color for free. Don't forget to use my coupon, Tammy Anderson Art. One, two, zero, all one word. It'll save you 20% off. All right, time for the video. And stay tuned tomorrow to see the video on these beauties. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. So before we get started, I just want to show you how this piece dried. I absolutely love it. I'm going to resin it. It is in my Etsy shop, which by the way, uh, today is the last day of my sale. So if you're looking for a piece of art, now is the time to get it, but dried beautifully. So today we are going to do a piece that I am calling blue steel. Now, why am I calling it that? This is why I took some leftover paints that I had, combined them all together, and I came up with this beautiful blue steel color. So what I thought I would do is I would coat half of the canvas in this color, half of it white, and do a nice pretty Dutch pour right down through the center. Now the colors, I am going to be using our rich and deep. So I'm using black. I'm going to use a uh, bright aqua green. I'm going to use Egyptian coin gold. That is from color art. Beautiful, beautiful gold color. I'm going to be using This is Prussian blue. And then I have Thalo turquoise. 
And then the last color is dioxazine purple. So it's going to be really, I'm hoping it's going to be a really deep, sensual type of painting with a little burst of that bright aqua green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up here and we're going to get started. So this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. It has the thick sides. And what I normally do is I will pour down some paint and then I'll use my blow dryer to kind of move most of it out and then I will tip it the rest of the way. This way it coats the sides and the surface is level. I don't have a big wad of paint in one area and then barely none at all in another area. So just on low, just blow it around. just like that. And now what I will do is tilt it just a little bit to straighten it out. So just like that. And it levels out really nice that way. And then of course you wanna make sure you check your sides, okay? It just goes a little quicker than using the spatula, although sometimes I use the spatula too, the OXO omelet spatula is a really, really good one. I have it right here. It's, I still have to clean it from the last one, but something with this thin blade, it really spreads the paint out really nicely. So that's in my Amazon shop if you're interested interested in something like that but you can also do it like I said with the blow dryer and then what I'll do is just go around the edges like this and make sure that they're all coated all right I'm not going to bore you with that I'll do that while you guys are paused uh so now I want to do the white area up at the top and it's the same exact thing So just pour down your white paint. Now all of my paints are mixed with water and Floetrol. The exact measurements will be in the description. Okay, and then you can tilt that end just the same as you did with the other side to even it out. To level it out, I should say. Okay, just like that. that easy there is no exact well I mean you put could go on there's a paint calculator I usually use the resin calculator because it's the same as paint it's fluid like paint so if I go on a, a, a resin calculator and put in the size of my dimensions it will tell you how much you need to coat the canvas 
Uh, I always make extra because I do so many paintings, so I just store whatever's left over. Uh, another great way is Loli Vefi has squeeze bottles. If you do a lot of Dutch pours, um, if that's all you do, it's good to have those because you could pre-mix your paints and store them in there. I don't do as many, but they're great to have. I also have a discount code in the description for them. Uh, so you can pre-mix your paints and have them in the squeeze bottles and squeeze it out whenever you want. I just happen to do an array of things. If I were only doing Dutch pours, I would definitely use those bottles all the time. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just touch up my sides and then we will get started. Okay. I believe we are ready to go. So the first color I'm going to put down is black. And I'm just going to follow that line after I get that out of my paint. Had a freeloader there. It's about to start charging rent. Okay, so black first, right down the center. My line's not very straight, is it? <laughs> uh, I think I still have a hangover from all the turkey I ate. All right, so there's our black, somewhat <laughs> straight. That is nowhere near a straight line. All right, next I think I'm going to do, hmm, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of the bright aqua green now, but I'm going to add it again. So just a little bit. Then I'm going to add in my Prussian blue. The white is swallowing up my black. Artist Loft does that a lot with black. Um, then I'm going to add in, what's this? This is the Thalo green or Thalo turquoise, I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna add in some gold. Some dioxazine purple. Some more of the turquoise. Or, I'm sorry, bright aqua green. And I think that's going to probably do it. Um, I feel like I need maybe just a little bit more. Uh, let's go in with that is the Prussian blue, just a little bit of it. Then both sides. And you can see that worked out well. A little tiny bit more of the black. Um, a little more of the purple. And I don't want to add more gold. I have enough gold in there. A little more of that turquoise. Okay, let's give that a try. First, I'm gonna to torch the entire canvas to pop the air bubbles. I'm very step-by-step step on this channel. Step-by-step, <laughs> step. that's the easiest way to go. Use easy turns and step-by-step, step. which speaking of, I got an email from a viewer who 
is totally lost on how to do the bloom technique with the bloom recipes. Uh, so I asked her, I asked her if she had ever done acrylic pouring before this and her answer was no. And I cannot tell you all that are watching that have never done acrylic pouring and you're brand new to this. I cannot tell you this enough. Do not start with the bloom technique. Start with something really, really simple like a flip cup, a straight pour, a dirty pour, a ring pour, um, things like Dutch pour and bloom techniques. You have to think of it as a ladder, okay? And those are very advanced techniques. You want to start at the bottom and learn about pouring mediums, consistencies, uh, why do some artists use some ingredients and some, you know, use different? You need to learn all of that before you advance up that ladder. That's just my two cents because if you go into something that took me months to learn, even though I had years of doing this, years of experience doing this, it took me months and months to learn that bloom technique with a lot of experience. Never mind starting off brand new. So do yourself a favor and start off at the beginning and search on YouTube acrylic pouring flip cups and watch like five, six, ten different artists. Learn why they use their recipes. Look for videos that are older, like a year or two older. I have a ton of them. I have acrylic pouring for beginners way back. I believe one of them is on my home page right when you land on it. Trust me, you will do so much better at the bloom when you understand why you shouldn't be really using house paint to do a normal flip cup or blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's it. I'm done preaching. I just want to see everybody succeed and that is the way to do it. All right, so here we go. I'm bringing Harry out. He really makes some magnificent fans. And what you want is a nice beta, tan, beta tail fan looking thing for the Dutch pour. So this right here for bigger canvases, for smaller canvases, we have Flow Awesome Awesome Dryers. They're both in my Amazon shop. All right, here we go. No good. I should not have caught that white right there, but I'm going to work with it. I'm going to try to fix it. I was gonna do something really stupid there and try to get this little area with that wide concentrator on that um, blow dryer and that's a no-no. So now I need to try to fix this a little bit because I hit the white by accident with the air and pushed it into the colors. So, but that's an easy fix. This is really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I just gotta straighten it out a little bit. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first get my airbrush because that has a little narrow air path and that's perfect for something right here, like right there. First, it would help if I plugged it in. <laughs> oh boy. 
Boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'll tell you, it's been a long, long weekend. <laughs> All right, here we go. So firstly, I want to stop this from coming off of the canvas. So I'm going to try to push that back a little tiny bit. And blow this out just a little bit. a little bit better I want to stop this from going off of the canvas so I'm going to push it back a little bit oh I can't wait to show you these colors cannot wait to show you these colors And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make this side look like this side right here. So I'm kind of just spreading that out a little bit. Just spreading that out a little bit more. And then I'm going to stop right there as I continue to go <laughs> forward. <laughs> Telling you that airbrush is dangerous, it's very addictive. So let me give you a close up of this because it is really really pretty now this here i'm noticing i'm gonna have to pull this area out maybe a little bit or push this one this white up into let me show you what i'm talking about i'm gonna just take some white paint off the table because i want it to look just like that other side Okay, just like that. Yep, that is really pretty. So I'll show it to you without the flash first. It's going to be hard to see because the colors are darker, but it is really, really pretty. And that back black background looks so purple. But it's actually that steel blue. All right. So there it is with the lights off. And here it is with the flash on. Just what I was looking for. Deep, dark, mysterious colors. So if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to check out my Etsy sale. Today's the final day. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, 
Facebook. Join my Facebook group, United We Pour Fluid Art Group. Make some new friends that like to do the same things that you do. My Amazon links are in the description for most of the products that I use. And just so you know, I have good news for all you primary element lovers. Uh, there is a new kit coming out called Putting on the Glitz. And the colors are magnificent. I should have them this week to show you. But if you pre-order by the 8th of December, you get a free color. And with my coupon, 20% off, that saves you some more money. So head over to colorart.com, check them out. And like I said, as soon as I have them in my possession, it is on. We are going to see those beautiful new colors. Um, it is pre-order right now. They will start shipping, I believe, the week next week. Not this week coming up, but next week. So... Stay tuned for more of that. All the information is on the website, as always. And as always, I thank you for joining me. This piece is available if interested. Just give me a holla at artbytammy at yahoo.com. I love you all, and happy pouring.